So these are some Merv 16 filters, and as you can see, they're 16 by 25 by 5. And it came out of that spot right there that I have blocked off because I just took the cover off right there so I could get access because this is the one where we were having a water flow problem coming up the secondary um, built-in condensate pump on the air handler inside here. So I was thinking, okay, super negative in here, plugged filters, uh, maybe the tilt because we're on a foam roof that's one foot thick or over a foot thick and it did tilt a little bit and we had to go around a second time and readjust everything because there was settlement of the roof after this installation. And literally the roof settled so much, there's, there's big iron beams, six by six beams below here on this roof holding up on both sides of this going all the way across but the compression of the weight squeezing the styrofoam roof because this is a freezer unit literally this half went down enough so there was no longer tilted in that direction it started tilting back this way and the units were filling up so I had to go around and you could see that little cutout right there where that coupling is is where I cut it and I removed a section of pipe to shrink it down so I could get my tilt back that way that's something that developed after a few months of settling the whole whole roof compressing from the weight. Um, but there's iron beans under here supporting this whole thing. It's only the styrofoam that compressed. Same thing happened on the other side. So for future reference, if we ever do something like exactly like this under the same construction and setup, I will tilt my water drain lines an extra half inch in the other direction of fall to compensate for like six months of settlement. And then in this situation, getting back here, what I was looking for, since these are the original filters and it's on its third, yeah, we're into the third run now. And so every run is eight to 10 weeks of run. And these are the original filters. So I'm looking for any anything plugging, any debris down there how dirty it is or anything like that. Now, the, again, remember, these are Merv 16 filters. So I'm looking for an, anything, um, I mean, basically they're still see-through. And you hold them up to the light. Oh, I, well, I'm sorry, but you got the light. Uh, from the camera, what is drowning out the light that I can see with my eyes, I can see right through this filter, looking up at the sky. When I look up there at that light right there, I could literally look through and see clearly. But not only that, when I move the filter back and forth, there's literally no resistance. I know that's a really bad, that's like rule of thumb, you know, beer can cold and shit like that. Um, but there's no resistance, there's nothing dirty in here. But what you don't see, here's things what fool a lot of technicians. When there's a place that sprays say a disinfectant or a um, antimicrobial, antifungicide, antibactericide, anti-bug, uh, anything to control bugs or anything like that, they usually use two different kind of suffocants. And a suffocant is something that will take water and if you put water on something it'll like roll right off. Um, if you put a suffocant, a circurfricant, there's a way to pronounce it correctly, forgive my in proper English for saying that word, but you add something to the water and the water will li literally grab onto the item and suck right down to it and hold and it won't just roll away and dry off. A surfactant, okay, I think that's the word I was looking for, or one of them. And um, it'll make the water cling to something. Well, most surfactants are usually a lot of times is a soap or oil and then it's an oil mixed with something you go well oil and water don't mix but there's a lot of pesticides that are based on oils or based on soaps and sometimes a soap and oil combination or a oil with something like alcohol in it to make an intermediate binder when it's shaken up it's a little milky looking it looks like salad oil um, you get that as it's clear when it's really thin so if somebody sprays one of these items inside a processing room and it gets sucked into the filters it will be clear 
but yet it'll still be a solid and it'll be like a it'll be like cellophane it's like if you coated the whole surface with cellophane and air, air can no longer flow through it now you would have a high restriction especially with a merv 16 or a merv 13 or something like that and you would see nothing you just come up and you look at oh this is okay but actually there's an invisible thin layer of a a coating of oil or soap on a system restricting the air and you have no way of visually telling and that's where you have to get your manometer out and actually test your pressure drop on both sides and actually that's something I still have to do is put a manometer on there and be able to do that but we put the unit back up and running right now and we're gonna see if the I disconnected the condensate pump and we're gonna allow the water to do its thing and we're gonna look for a problem or if it's solved and uh, still trying to determine what caused the um, secondary condensate pump to kick on in the first place the thing is don't look for the result what was the cause that caused the result and that's what we have to find not just cure it and walk away all right guys i'll see you later and uh yes yeah like i always say these are to the to go filter for your house too all right see and they even give you uh what your airflow and your resistance and water column are going to be add a certain airflow your cfm and your calibrate rate brand new when it's not restricted of course as soon as it gets restricted that number goes up